The cells of an embryo possess all the genes they would need to become a brain cell, or a liver cell, or a bone cell, or a muscle cell. And herein lies the problem. How do they know which genes they should turn on? As they differentiate, as they specialize and choose a cell fate, how do they know to turn on only the liver genes or only the nerve genes? How does differentiation in embryonic development occur? Proteins can bind to DNA and activate transcription or turn on genes or repress transcription and turn off genes. In this example, there are three proteins, Gly 1, 2, and 3, named for the glioma they were first discovered with a type of cancer. These can travel to the nucleus after being cleaved in one way and activate transcription. But these same uh, proteins can be cleaved in a different way to produce different products which travel to the nucleus and repress transcription. There is a transmembrane protein which can activate second messengers which cause the cleavage producing transcription repressors. This is known as smoothened. So when smoothened directs the cleavage of the glide transcription factors, repressors are formed. But another transmembrane protein can be associated with smoothened. It is known as patched. Patched can inhibit smoothened. This prevents smoothened from directing the production of transcription repressors, and as a result, transcription activators are produced. But patched needs to bind to the signal sonic hedgehog before it can block smoothened. And so sonic hedgehog binds patched, which then inhibits smoothened, which then directs the production of transcription activators. For simplicity's sake, there are additional proteins involved which have been omitted here, such as the second messengers, the kinesin costal, which allows the movement of the gly factors along microtubules, and the serine threonine kinase known as fused. This is why abnormal expression of sonic hedgehog in a developing embryonic chick's wing bud can lead to abnormal digit formation. The genes in cells are turned on inappropriately. In essence, they are told that they are in a position that they are not, and therefore they choose a cell fate based on the position that they think they are in. So they turn on the wrong genes because they were exposed to a signal that they should not have been exposed to.